welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to click that subscribe button and that notification bell. Today I'm going to show you how I make these delicious and soft Halloween conchas. As you know, fall is here, Halloween is upon us, so why not make these? Now, conchas are Mexican sweetbread that can be enjoyed any time of the day. So, if you want to learn how to make these, stay tuned. These are the ingredients that we are going to need. Flour, butter, eggs, evaporated milk, sugar, yeast, salt, and vanilla. The list of the ingredients and the measurements will be down in the description. What I'm gonna be doing is warming up my evaporated milk to 110 degrees. I'm gonna add in the yeast, a tablespoon of sugar, and a tablespoon of flour from the ingredients that we're gonna need. I'm gonna mix it, set this aside for 10 minutes, and there you go. So it has to proof just like that. In the bowl of my stand mixer, or you can do this by hand, I'm going to be adding in the flour, the rest of the sugar, my yeast mixture, the eggs, and make sure that the eggs are at room temperature. The vanilla and the salt. The salt, I'm going to just be adding it to the outside of this. And once all that is there, I'm gonna be using my dough hook and I'm gonna be mixing this. Once the egg has broken down and the, ins the inside of that has been mixed, I'm gonna be using my spatula to slowly be adding the flour into that mix. And this might take just a little bit longer because you want to make sure that all that flour is incorporated. What I did was only add three cups of flour in the beginning. And then once I mixed all that, if I needed the rest of the flour, which is the three fourths, then I did add it in there because you have to just feel your dough. If it's too, too sticky, add the rest of the flour. Once all that is incorporated, I added in my butter. The butter has to be at room temperature also. And I'm going to be mixing this for about eight to 10 minutes. And then just with my spatula again, going in there, just making sure that everything gets incorporated. If you're doing this by hand, it's going to take a little bit longer, but either way, it's going to be worth it. So once all that has been incorporated, I'm not going to add any flour to the surface because you want a real soft dough. And either way, it's not going to stick. And I'm going to need this for a good five minutes. And now in this bowl, I'm going to be adding vegetable shortening. And this is how the dough should be elastic -y and very soft. So just form it into a ball and just tuck the, just tuck it in, you know, on the bottom, the way you see how I'm doing it here. And just add it to your bowl, put some plastic wrap and let it rise for about an hour. It may take longer depending on the temperature of your house. So if you don't see that it has risen, leave it longer. Also add some vegetable shortening on top just so it doesn't stick. While that's rising, I'm gonna start making the topping. And I am going to be doing this in my stand mixer, of course, but you can do it by hand. The ingredients for the topping is a half cup of powdered sugar, one and one, one and one third cup of flour, and one cup of vegetable shortening. So just add all that into your hand mixer, or if you're gonna do it by hand, whatever, just add it. And for this, I'm gonna be using the paddle attachment. And it's probably gonna take about five minutes just to incorporate all that. And then I'm just gonna get in there with my clean hands 
and start kneading this until it comes all together and it's not crumbly like that. So just take your time on this and you don't need to flower your surface because it's not gonna stick. What I'm doing here is I'm dividing this because I'm going to add some coloring to some of these and you want to use gel coloring. You don't want to use the other one because it's too watery and it's gonna mess up this paste. For this one, I'm going to be adding green. So whatever color that you are using, just add it, mix it, and set it aside. But since I'm using Halloween colors, I'm gonna be using green and orange and black. And then I just grab it with my hand and just make a ball out of it. I am going to be putting it in these little glass things and covering it with saran wrap so it doesn't dry up. Yep, and somehow this piece did not work with me. But I said, I'm not gonna throw you away. It's gonna work. Now, after an hour, mine took an hour, it's done. And what you're gonna do, flower your surface, lay down your dough, and it should be super soft. I'm gonna flatten it like this, and then roll it up into a log. And here I'm just gonna try and make it as even as I can. But it really doesn't matter because you're gonna weigh these anyways. I ended up getting about 12 conchas out of this. And now it's going to vary depending how big or small you want them. So just, if you want them smaller, just weigh them out smaller and make sure that you weigh them out the same. So use a scale. And once I did that, I'm gonna put it in a little ball. And what I did, I added some vegetable shortening to my baking tray and some flour. And I'm just going to be adding the dough on here and then flattening it. You don't have to flatten it as much but I didn't want like real puffy conchas. And it's time for the topping. So grab a little ball and if you don't have one of these pressers, you can do it with the plate. Just put the ball in between the plastic and smash it down with the plate. Make sure that it is big enough to cover your dough. Now I do not have a concha cutter. I don't know why I haven't got one since I'm always making these, but a knife works just as well. Just make sure that it's sharpened. And don't go all the way down. Just slightly do your design. And I'm gonna set these aside to double their size again, which could take from 30 minutes to one hour. But while that's rising, I'm gonna start doing my designs. And I'm going to be using cookie cutters here. So I have this, which is the pumpkin. And then I have other ones. Now, once I start punching these out, I'm just going to place them on a plate or something. Just put them somewhere and then cover it so it doesn't dry out before you're gonna use them. Here I'm using this one for the bat. And once these has risen, then that's when you put your designs on top. The oven has to be preheated at 350 degrees. These go in there for about eight to 12 minutes and they are done. I hope you enjoy this video.
and share and just leave a nice comment. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Yummy. Go ahead and go make yourself some champurado or some coffee or some hot chocolate. Enjoy. Enjoy.